Got some past exam questions here for the bonding and structure topic. So if you wanted to have a go at these, the link to the questions is in the description. So just download them, have a go, and then watch the video for the answers. Okay, so the first one, the definition for the date of covalent bond, shared pair of electrons where both electrons are provided by the same atom. Okay, so for part two, dot and cross diagram to show the bonding in this molecule H3N BF3. So what I've done is drawn a separate ammonia molecule on the left there and the BF3 molecule on the right. And what I'm going to do is grab hold of this and just show that the date of covalent bond is formed when the nitrogen um, shares its lone pair with the boron. So that highlighted orange bond there is the date of covalent bond. Question two, dot and cross diagram for CO2. It's obviously covalent, two non-metals. And so we've got double bonds existing between the carbon and the oxygens. So we need two pairs of electrons in each overlap. Question three, we've got to add labels to each circle in the diagram to show the particles in the lattice. Well, potassium chloride contains the K plus ion and the Cl minus ion. So all we've got to make sure is that these alternate. So if we put a K plus there, it means we need a Cl minus there and therefore a K plus there and a Cl minus there. And then we just repeat that on the lower level so K plus, Cl minus, K plus, Cl minus. Question four, what's meant by the term ionic lattice? So the lattice part is the repetition or the regular repeating arrangement. So there's two marks for this. So that statement there would get you the first mark. And the fact that it's ionic means we have oppositely charged ions. So that's how those two marks were scored there. And the next part of the question, notice it doesn't give you the formula for aluminium fluoride, so they are expecting you to know what that is or work it out. So it contains the aluminium 3 plus ion and the F minus ion. So obviously the ratio is 1 aluminium 3 plus to 3 fluoride ions, and that's how you would represent them for this diagram. So obviously the marks are going to be scored, one for that and one for that. Question five, silicon dioxide has the same structure and bonding as diamond. So hopefully everyone knows that diamond is giant covalent and so therefore silicon dioxide will be as well. Question six, describe and explain the electrical conductivity of sodium oxide in its solid and molten states. So basically it can't conduct in the solid state because the ions are sort of fixed in the lattice, held together by that electrostatic attraction between the oppositely charged ions. So they can't move in the solid state, so they can't conduct. As soon as you melt it, the ions can move so they can carry the charge. So in terms of how the marks are scored, so the first mark would be that statement there, to enable a conduct in the solid state. And then the reason, ions are able to move. And I've given a further sort of explanation of that. So there's your two marks there. And then for the second statement, it can conduct in the molten state. So we'll mark for that. And the ions can move. Question seven, we've got the nitrogen molecule. Obviously that's N2. And it has a triple covalent bond between the ends. So you basically need three of each type of electron in the overlap. Question 8, got a little calculation here. So we're told that we've got 3.127 times 7 to 18 oxygen molecules. So that's O2s. How many moles of atoms have we got? So the first one we'll calculate is the number of atoms of oxygen. So we just double the number of oxygen molecules because each molecule contains two atoms. So we get that number there of atoms, 6.254 times 10 to the 18. And then to turn it into moles, we divide by Avogadro's number. Okay, so that's given us this calculator value here. But look, we've got to give it to four significant figures and in standard form. So in terms of standard form, it's going to be 10 to the minus 5. Because of the four zeros. And we've got 1.039. Question 9. Dot and cross diagram for the bonding in boron tribromide. So it's obviously covalent because they're both non-metals. And we get that there. 
Number 10, dot and cross for magnesium chloride. Well, that's ionic, metal and non-metal. So we have those two ions there. And marks wise, one for that and one for them. And finally, number 11, dot and cross diagram for CH3Cl. It's going to be covalent because everything's a non-metal. And you'll notice I've gone for three styles of electrons. So the shaded circles, I'm saying are for the hydrogens. The crosses are for the carbon. And the unshaded circles, those seven circles there, they're for the chlorine.